A 17-year-old suspect wanted for multiple shootings and a homicide turned himself in just hours after the Cuyahoga County prosecutor announced an urgent search for him earlier today. My experience certainly has led me to believe that juveniles with guns are far more dangerous than adults with guns. Authorities say those alleged crimes date back to March and April and do involve other teens as well. Tessa DiTero is with us in the newsroom tonight. Tessa, you heard some very powerful words from the Cuyahoga County Prosecutor about the spiking crime, and it's all involving young people. Rob, you're right, and although that 17-year-old turned himself in to police shortly after the press conference, the harsh reality remains tonight that more and more juveniles are involved in serious, dangerous crimes. And tonight I spoke with one community member who says his organization is trying to meet teens where they are. Charles C. is busier than ever responding to violent situations involving teenagers through his nonprofit, Stop the Pain. Are you surprised at the age of these young people? I, I, yeah, of late, I, I most certainly am. You know, you go down, we've got uh, youngsters 10, 12 years old, you know, involved in, in gun-related incidents. Thursday afternoon, during a press conference to find a 17-year-old involved in multiple crimes, Cuyahoga County Prosecutor Michael O'Malley also shared some startling juvenile crime statistics. With the charging of this case, it brings the total number of juveniles charged this year with homicide for murder, ag murder. Um, we have broke our, sadly we have broke our record. We are now up to 36 and we still have a quarter left. Last year's number was 35 in 12 months. We now have 36 really through nine months. O'Malley says the unfortunate reality is juveniles are becoming too comfortable using deadly weapons, an issue he says is plaguing the community. Too often we are seeing one senseless homicide lead into another senseless homicide uh, rooted in retaliation. It appears to be an escalation where they are trying to obtain weapons to even outgun each other. C says Stop the Pain is trying to help solve the growing problem by first building trust with young people. We spent a lot of time with a young man and he had got jumped. And so his, his initial response, because he did have a weapon, was to respond. But he called one of our staff people and he told him what had happened and we responded to the house and he surrendered the firearm which we eventually turned in. Stop the pain and Cuyahoga County officials are in agreement. Youth crime has to be the community's number one priority. There is no doubt about that whatsoever and so I'm issuing kind of a clarion call particularly to the male community. We must come together and, and befriend and walk beside these young men so they begin to understand what is appropriate behavior. Parents and teenagers can call 216-250-1402 anytime, 24-7, to talk with someone at Stop the Pain. Someone from that nonprofit can come to your home or even to a scene to de-escalate and talk through things. The nonprofit is uh, setting up teenagers with jobs and other services as well that they might need. Stop the Pain is inviting more adults to get involved in their mentorship programs for young men and women. Rob. Priority number one. Tessa, thank you.